Hello, good morning, students. Welcome to this government government lesson for SS2 students. Yes, it is for SS2. The lesson is for SS2 students, but it is also a revision lesson for SS3 students who are preparing for their certificate examinations. Okay, when you were in SS1, you were taught that one of the agents of the political socialization of a child, of an individual, is the political party. And in first term SS2, you were taught, your teacher, I'm sure, taught you that one of the ways an individual gets involved in politics is by belonging to a political party. So you've been hearing about political parties in previous lessons and previous classes but you may not have been taught the full the full meaning and the full implication of political parties being in political systems so today in this lesson we are going to see what a political party is what the features of political parties are and the functions so we are going to understand those that what you have been hearing in the previous lessons about political parties we are going to understand it better in this lesson so follow as we discuss the first thing we are going to see is the meaning of political parties what is a political party we are going to hear let's define political party get ready and let's define it a political party is an organized group of people who have been brought together by a common political belief with the plan or main purpose of contesting elections winning political power and forming the government let me say it in a different way a political party is an organized group of people that have been brought together by a common political belief with the primary intention of winning elections forming the, and forming the government in a democratic system. Are we, are, are we together? So we, the, the, the primary aim of a political party is to win political power through elections not through any other means but through elections so they have to contest the elections that is why parties are always talking about elections next election next election because they know that that is their target if they must get into power all right so the next thing we are going to hear and understand is is it necessary for a democratic system to have political parties? Let's look at two reasons, two main purposes, two main reasons why it is necessary for a democratic system to have political parties. The first is that political parties bring people together, mobilizes people into you know, specific groups, identifiable groups that help to make political contests more systematic more organized and systematic so that if uh, anybody anybody contesting or getting involved in politics is found to be doing anything that is either right or wrong we can actually identify where the person is coming from the group he or she is coming from and then from there we can trace him or her and get to know how to handle the person's issues so the first, the first reason, as I've just mentioned, is that a political party helps to organize people into identifiable groups to ensure that there is a, an organized and systematic political process or political contest. Secondly, political parties are necessary because they help to, basically, they help to summarize the demands of citizens. You know, every country has millions millions and some billions of citizens every citizen has his or her own interest and demands so if every citizen is allowed to express himself say what he wants like 
uh, he wants it, there will be millions of pieces of paper containing citizens' demands. That will be too difficult for any government to handle. So for that reason, a political party will summarize the demands of the people, summarize their demands into a simple proposal, a simple proposal that, that will guide them in making plans or making policies in order to satisfy the demands of all those millions of people at once. So it is only a political party that has a platform to be able to handle the demands of the people, the needs of the people, summarize them and be able to handle them in a systematic way. So these are two important uh, reasons why a democratic system cannot do without political parties. Okay, having said that, let us look at the characteristics characteristics of political parties. What do political parties, what are the characteristics of political parties? What are the characteristics of political parties? What do we see in political parties? The first characteristic of a political party is that it has a constitution. It has a constitution. Every political party has a constitution. What is the constitution? It means that a political party has a list of uh, a system of rules and regulations guiding its members. A system of rules and regulations guiding its members. That is the constitution of the political party. So the political party with a constitution is able to, you know, to, to handle the behavior of its members, to direct them, and to ensure that they do not do the things that are not supposed they are not supposed to do. And if they do, they have a way. Of bringing them back to their senses, bringing them to book, and making sure that they do the right thing. That's the constitution. Every political party has a constitution. The second feature of a political party is membership. I see it. Membership. The membership of a political party refers to the people, the members, the people in the political party. Some authorities will say card carrying membership that is you you may see in some of your textbooks card carrying membership or card carrying members any one of any one of them is correct so every political party has members without members it is not a political party are we there all right so the members of a political party are the human beings inside the political party the next characteristic of a political party is the emblem the party emblem or what we call the party logo the party emblem or the party logo every political party has a logo in some situations you will see maybe in some of your books you see unique emblem unique emblem that is the emblem of any political party is unique particular to it no other party has that kind of emblem you know in fact, to register a political party in Nigeria, the emblem of your party must not have any resemblance of the emblem of another existing political party. And I think it applies to other countries too. So what exactly is the emblem? It is a picture, a picture that helps to identify the party and describe, I mean, differentiate it from other parties. That is the picture, pictorial representation of the party that gives it its identity and differentiates it from other parties. In Nigeria, we have a, a number of political parties. They all have party logos or party emblems. One of them, the, okay, the, the, the ruling party at the central government, which is the All Progressives Congress, has a broom, a hand holding a broom. That is their emblem. You remember it? A hand holding a broom, the APC. The PDP has a, an umbrella with red, green, and a white color. Red, green, and white color. That's the PDP umbrella. That is their logo. That is their emblem. Uh, there is another party we are going to talk about. The All Progress, sorry, the, the All Progressives Grand Alliance (APGA) has a cock, a growing cock. That is their own emblem. That cock is very big. If you see that cock. You will begin to desire to eat chicken. Maybe that is why Abwa uses that cock so that it can attract people and 
you know they can eat eat chicken anytime they, they go for party meetings i'm not advertising them anyway so that is the 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 emblem of a party every party has an emblem maybe you go through the list of political parties in nigeria and find out the emblem of each party that will be our assignment after this lesson the next characteristic of a political party is the manifesto the manifesto of the party manifesto what is the manifesto the manifesto of a political party refers to the list of programs the party plans to execute when they gain in France, when they when they gain power the moment they get power they begin they are expected to start executing the 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 the, the contents of their manifesto the campaign promises they make the promises they make to the people to the voters when they are campaigning for votes that is the manifesto of the political party so uh, it is every party has a manifesto the question is whether they actually execute what is in their manifesto or not we'll discuss that one much later maybe we'll discuss that one when we are discussing political participation all right so manifesto is a is a characteristic of a political party indispensable but it helps them to make campaign promises okay finally every political party has an ideology the ideology of the party ideology ideology of a political party is the central belief the core belief that guides the members of the party the central belief that you know the party the, the, that brings the party together that keeps the party together so, uh, again we can look at it as the vision the central the vision of the party how do they want to change how do they want to do things differently from the previous party or from other parties that is the foundational beliefs of the party refer to the ideology every party has an ideology and it is from the ideology of the party that they are able to uh, make a list of programs that is is from the ideology that they are able to create the manifesto the manifesto which now look uh, 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 guides their campaign promises as well so without an ideology, parties cannot have manifesto, and they will not have campaign promises. So that's the ideology of a political party. Are we together? We have looked at the, the definition, the characteristics of a political party. We are now going to look at the functions of political parties. What are the functions of political parties? The first function is political recruitment. Political recruitment. Political parties bring people together and present them to the public for them to be chosen, for them to be elected into offices, or for them to be appointed into office. When government, when a party gains power and wants to appoint people as commissioners, as ministers, ambassadors, it is a political party, the, 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 the party in government that will now look into their membership. And bring people to fill those positions that is political recruitment the next is interest articulation interest articulation interest articulation a r t i c u l a t i o n articulation interest articulation function of the political party means that they are able it is their duty their function to express the views of the public, to express the interest of the public, to carry uh, to carry to to carry the the views of the public to the ears of the government, so that government will know what the people are asking for. They articulate either by writing, through press releases, through uh, discussions on the media, through every other means they can adopt, which are legal. Every other legal means. They articulate the interest of the entire society then the next is that political parties promote organized political contest they promote organized political contest by bringing people together into uh, specific groups and making 
uh, rules and regulations ensuring that people abide by the rules of the game of politics so in that way they are able to to ensure that people uh, play politics according to the rules next political parties carry out political education political education of citizens political education of citizens political parties help citizens to understand their role as citizens their role their duties and their rights as citizens why they are part of the political system and what they are supposed to do citizenship education that is an important role of a political party next is that political parties promote accountability and responsibility of government uh, let's say this when you were taught the parliamentary system of government you were told your teacher told you your teacher taught you that one of the features of a parliamentary system is that it has an official opposition official opposition party the official opposition party is usually the the, 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 the party that leads that leads in the in the in keeping government as a responsible government and making sure that government is accountable making sure that government comes back to the people to let people know how they are doing the things they have been asked to do how they have been able to use the mandates given to them and the funds given to them you know when people elect a government there are two things they give them two things they give them to help them exercise power first they give them power secondly sorry first they give them time time that is the tenure of office that government occupies in the government house the, the number of years they are ex expected to stay that is the time that people have given them the second thing that people give government is money they give them time and money and so government is expected to come back to the people to account for the time and money that the people have given them and that is what what what, what the opposition party champions to ensure that government is responsible and accountable so any government that is not accounting for the time and money given to them to govern the society for a period of that four years is not accountable or not responsible again political parties uh, help political parties um, provide employment they provide employment for citizens a political party has an office and people who work in those offices are the people who have been employed they have given employment to them the secretaries the clerks the cleaners messengers the chairman and other people working within the political party such people are given employment they have employment opportunities finally a political party plays the role of agenda setting agenda setting setting of agenda for the government or for the society political party set agenda they help the government to understand what they are supposed to do they create the agenda and then make sure that government is pushed to pursue the right agenda political parties help to set agenda for the government okay having said this we are coming to the end of the lesson i hope you got something from this lesson in the in the next lesson we are going to look at the structure of political parties but before that next lesson go through the list of political parties in nigeria find out the names of political parties in nigeria and their logos their logos that is their, their emblems compare all the emblems and find out whether any emblem looks like the other that is your assignment that you are going to do before the next lesson so stay well stay at home and stay safe i remain name kawakocha if you want to send questions to me you can write questions either through my facebook inbox or in the comment section under this video. See you.